Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Here I'm going to be working on rationalizing the denominator where I have variables in my fractions. Let's look at example one. I have 3 over radical x, or 3 over square root of x. In math, you don't want to leave, leave any kind of radicals in the denominator of your fraction. So what we do is we multiply by that bottom radical for square roots to make the bottom now just regular old x. Top, I have 3 times square root of x. Now that can't be simplified any further. Look at number two, same idea. Square root of x on the bottom is bad. By the way, numbers one and two are very, very, very similar. The only difference is in number two now, the top is square root of three. So just like before, I'm gonna multiply by root x over root x, so I'll end up with square root of three x all over regular x. Cannot be simplified any further. Let's try some where there's integer radicals that can be simplified further. 15 over square root of 18x. Well, square root of 18x, can be simplified as square root of 9 times square root of 2 times square root of x. And square root of 9, of course, is just regular old 3. So I have 15 over regular 3 and then root 2x. Okay, 15 over 3 reduces to 5 over 1. So I'm, here's where I am so far. 5 over square root 2x. Now, it doesn't seem like I made a lot of progress. I still have a square root in the bottom, but at least now the numbers are smaller. So when I go to rationalize my denominator now, on top I'll have 5 outside, radical 2x. On the bottom I have square root 2x and square root of 2x is regular old 2x. Now I'd want to check to see if my integers could be reduced, that 5 over 2, and they cannot be reduced, so I'm done. Let's look at number 4. Um, I have square root of 24, x to the third, over square root of 6. Okay, well... I can rewrite that as one big old fraction because I notice that 24 over 6 can be reduced. 24 over 6, of course, is just 4. So really this problem is asking me to do the square root of 4x to the third. Okay, I'm going to write that as square root of 4 times square root of x squared times square root of x because square root of 4 is 2, square root of x squared is x, and then that's just going to stay as radical x. So that's my final answer, 2x root x. So when you're working with rationalizing the denominator, of course your goal is to make it so there's no square roots in the bottom of your fraction. What you want to do is try to simplify stuff first. There's a lot of correct ways to do these problems. This is, in many cases, just the most direct. Simplify fractions first. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two um two fix. Yeah.